just to give you a short idea of what we're doing and to actually demonstrate it if you want to see yes. it. Um, um, this is a system socket um, by UVtricity. It's a switchable and identify a system socket. There's no intelligence integrated into the socket because the entire intelligence is integrated into a mobile meter into our intel intelligent charging cable. So what you have is, uh, as an EV user, you have your um, charging cable with you, you bring it to the charging spot, and what you do is you just plug it in, and what now happens is that the um, intelligent cable um, wakes up the system socket, and through mobile communication, there is a request with our backend whether this cable with this mobile electricity contract is allowed to charge at this um, at this uh, charging spot. And if we get a positive feedback, um, you then, as a user, connect it to your EV. And um, as you just heard it clicking, um, the charging pro process is initiated and the system socket and on the other side is locked. So you can just um, lock up your car, go for a coffee, and your car is charging at a street light. That's cool. basically the idea. How many? Um, oh, well, you're still testing, right? How many yes. street lights? Um, we're still in the pi uh, pilot uh, phase. Uh, we have a contract with uh, the city of Berlin that we will integrate 100 um, street lights with our system socket so people can test our system and charge at uh, suitable street lights here in Berlin. We also have uh, a large field test in the Lake Constance area. This is where we have um, mobile electricity su um, suppliers as um, test users, but, al but also EV users and um, large corporate entities who have e-fleets and uh, who use our charging system for their fleet. Because the, the benefit of our system is you have transaction specific um, charging processes on our online platform. So even if um, one EV is used by multiple users, the fleet owner knows exactly who charged at what charging spot, which makes it easier to have uh, legal, the legal requirements for the data, because some, some charging processes need to be uh, built, some, for some charging processes there are taxes that need to be paid, so our system allows, just like with your mobile, um, with your mobile telephone, you have an exact process of where you charge, how many, um, um, how many amounts you charge, and what that costs for you. And you think this is much more cost competitive, or will be more cost competitive than conventional EV charging? Definitely, definitely, because what you see over there, uh, we, we uh, slightly call it the, uh, the, the charging station museum. These are all stationary charging stations, and the difference of our system compared to those is that uh, we don't have at the charging spot an integrated mobile meter, uh, an integrated electricity meter. We don't have communication devices installed in at our charging spot. So you don't have the initial cost as high with our system and you don't have any running costs because the contract and the system is connected to your mobile intelligent device, which the user brings to you. So charging infrastructure is very much cheaper to, to be built up. And I assume you don't need as much security around this because you can take this is locked in your car or in your home exactly. whereas those need to be protected more and exactly but it's also uh, the the liberty of choosing your own electricity supplier with uh -huh. our system because uh, you're the one as an EV user, user you're the one making the contract for your mobile electricity supplier you choose what electricity you are built with those systems it's the infrastructure provider who tells you you need to have to have a contract with our system so for example you would have um, an a button file contract or uh, a contract with Airbnb, some other infrastructure um, providers, and then you can charge under those conditions. With our system, you bring your contract to our charging spots with you, and you recharge your own mobile electricity of choice. But you could only use it in 100 spots in Berlin in initially. You can't use it in a spot that somebody um, else is. The benefit of this car, uh, this uh, charging cable is that it's um, also compatible with all of those other charging oh. stations. What you have is, um, let me just unlock it for you real quick. This um, plug, um, there's um, an EU regulation that tells you that this type, type 2 uh, plug is the one to be used. So we use the standardized EU um, plug for all of our cables. And if you would want to, uh, if you don't have a new electricity system socket available, what you could do is you could still plug in out your electricity cable, but the mobile
one meter in here remains silent, so you can charge um, to those conditions, and you only need one cable, and you can really recharge at every single spot. Wow. Because um, uh, if you build an entirely new um, charging station, what you need to do is you need to dig a hole in the wall, and you need to have new electricity cables there. So they are high initial cost uh, for that. The benefit of um, a streetlight is electricity is already there, so we're using infrastructure that's, that has already been built, and we only need um, to integrate our system socket, plug it in, and then uh, that makes so much cheaper. Because what, what we say is one of those uh, standard charging stations costs with all of uh, the, the initial cost about 10000 up to 10000 and the system socket you just saw mounted to the wall, what we've just been with the BMW i3 was charging, that will be a hundred years in serious cost just to mount it and flip the entire technology. Whoa. How many of those are you planning to put in? Or? charging infrastructure but they do not want to give away electricity for free so with our solution they invest a hundred years to build this um, simple socket to the wall and they have their employers bring their electricity contract to them uh, and that, that makes it so much possible.